Hey friends, Vince here from Boilo Communications. Uh, today I want to talk about Yoast. We do a lot of managed web services and we've got clients that are asking us about, hey, what can I do to improve my SEO whenever possible? And we recommend really a holistic strategy, so lots of different factors that go into improving SEO on a website. But some of the low-hanging fruit, especially for our WordPress users, which many of marketers out there are, are using that right now, is a plugin called Yoast. It's free, Yoast SEO free is something that you can install on your on your website very easily and there are three things that it does really really well I just want to dive in and give you a quick tutorial on how to use those things on your page let's get started So for today's example, I'm going to be using uh, the blog post that I'm working on for this video right now. And uh, so it's called How to Get Started with Yoast SEO Free. And I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom of the page. Um, we don't cover Yoast installation in this, but if you've got Yoast installed, here's what it's going to look like. At the very bottom of the page, you get what's called a meta box. And that's what this, this section down here is called in the Gutenberg editor. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at this focus key phrase, right? And so right now I've got my focus key phrase set to Yoast SEO free because this page, this post is all about uh, this particular plugin and nothing else, right? And I, I wanna have a high occurrence of that key phrase on my page. So I'm gonna set that to my focus key phrase here. And then Yoast automatically runs an SEO analysis against that focus key phrase. I'm gonna hit the drop down here and you see that it gives you all of the results and basically the how to's on how you can make that happen. So if something is, isn't right about the page, all you have to do is click the instructions on here and go and, and fix whatever it is that you need to do. One of the things that they want me to fix is to have the key phrase in the introduction. Man, I thought I had it up there, but I guess I missed it. So let's scroll back up to the top of the page. Oh, looks like here, here it is, right? It says Yoast is a powerful and effective plugin, but my key phrase is Yoast SEO free because there is a premium version and I wanna focus on the, on the free one. So what I'm gonna do is just say Yoast SEO free is a powerful and effective plugin. And then once I've made that change, if I scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page, look, key phrase and introduction has turned green. And so the trick is you just go through all these problems or improvements and you solve them one by one and then you keep doing it until this orange face, this orange emoji here turns to a green smiley. And then once you're done there, then you're gonna be set for SEO. Uh, the next thing that we wanna take a look at that Yoast does really well is its ability to help you customize the metadata for your Google preview. So if we click this drop down right here, we've got our Google preview. So it pulls in our uh, featured image from the page it's got the title kind of already set, but right now it just says, please provide a meta description. So we wanna get that entered in there. If you click edit snippet here and scroll down, there's three things that you can change. One is the slug, right? The URL slug of where the page actually is. I'm not gonna to touch that, it's already a good spot. The second thing here is the SEO title. We can take a look at that, but right now it's already in the green. So it's got a good length, it's got a good description based on the little snippet variables that are in there. So, but the main thing I wanna look at is this meta description and getting that modified. So let's get that description in there. Yeah, so now it says boost your search ranking and reach more potential buyers, quickly learn how to use the leading WordPress SEO plugin. And so if we go look at our preview here on mobile, We've got our title, we've got this meta description in there, and it automatically bolds the terms from the key phrase, just like Google bolds the terms from your search in their results. And so it shows you what that's gonna look like if someone's looking for that key phrase. So great, now we've got our SERP preview in, in good place, our SEO analysis has turned green, that's good, but uh-oh, our readability has got a red frowny face. What do we gotta fix here? Looks like we've got a paragraph that's super long. We gotta go fix that. So what we're gonna do is they give you these really helpful um, visibility cues that you can go and fix paragraph length or whatever it else is that you need to fix. So I'm gonna click that visibility cue here. It turns on the highlight and I'm gonna scroll up the page and look for where the problem is. Oh my goodness, that is a really long paragraph. I got a couple pro tips in there. Let me break those out into separate paragraphs. There we go, that's, that's good. That's good, yep, yep. And then maybe let's put a break in here too. That seemed like a longish paragraph. And we'll go down to the bottom and see where we ended up. Perfect, look, paragraph length has turned green and that was such a big fix that it turned the readability for the whole page green. So now I'm, I'm all set for that. 
So what Yoast has helped me do here is fix the readability of the page, fix my Google preview to make sure that's in, in alignment, and it's helped me analyze the page and make sure that I've got enough occurrences of that focus key phrase in there so that I'm gonna rank well. So now that all of this is said and done, my page is all set for SEO. If you wanna get a little bit more information, a little bit more in depth, learn a little bit about how search works in general, I've got more of that in the blog post here. You may be watching this video on the blog post. If that's the case, just scroll on down. But if you're on YouTube, we've got a link right underneath that you can click, bring you to our website and you can get more information. I also wanna encourage you, if you're really interested in Yoast and improving your SEO, Yoast has an amazing resource online called Yoast Academy. We also have a link to that. That's what we've got in SEO. Go forward the world. Use that to tell your stories better and we'll catch you next time.